Greetings and a big thank you to, for the opportunity to let us come your way today and spend these few moments with you. This week we are looking at the potter and the clay. And we're trying to draw some spiritual lessons from that comparison, that analogy, that illustration God used. And we see that in both the Old and the New Testaments. As we think about the potter and working on the lump of clay, we recognize the potter's vision. For each lump of clay the potter picks up and puts on the potter's wheel, the potter has in his mind a vision of what he is going to shape this lump of clay into. He already sees this lump of clay becoming that. He is the one who has this vision. He sees in his, he sees that picture in his mind's eye. He knows what this lump of clay is going to look like once it's gone through the potter's wheel, once it's gone through the potter's process. But let's think about the potter's vision. He's got a vision for every lump of clay. He's got a vision for your life and my life. Something that's unique, something that's different, something that's wonderful. Something that he intends for this lump of clay. Something he did, knows that this lump of clay is well suited for. Something that he is going to undertake or take responsibility of to make this lump of clay into. That's the potter's vision. Potter has a vision for your life. He saw it from the very beginning. He saw it from the moment you were laid on the potter's wheel, so to speak. He determined that this was the best thing to come out of that lump of clay. So I want you to be assured that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And God, the master potter, has all the wisdom, everything he needs to shape you and me and mold us into what he sees, has already seen us become. He is the master potter. He has a vision. And for us, our responsibility, because we, unlike the lump of clay, are people who have a free moral choice, we have a will, we are living beings, our responsibility is to trust completely in the potter, our responsibility is to discover the potter's vision for our lives and to yield ourselves to it and to enjoy becoming what he envisioned for us and not try to become some other vessel other than what he envisioned for us because whatever he envisioned for us is best for us. We don't have to look at other vessels and look at their shape and their design and say, well, I like to be like that. That's not what we're called to do. We're called to just trust and celebrate the potter's vision for our lives. Enjoy how He has intended for us to be designed and shaped and formed and fashioned. Because His vision for us is the best. He knows the lump of clay very well. He has done this many, many times. Enjoy the potter's vision for your life. Yield to it and let Him work it out for you. Let Him fulfill that vision that he has for you. Just enjoy that vision. But he does have a vision. You're not a lump of clay that's just going to become something by chance. The potter has a vision and he's working on it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. that You are the potter, we are the clay, and as the potter you have a master vision. Vision for every lump of clay. And so we yield ourselves to your vision for our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.